So we have a geometric sequence where the second term is 4 and the sum to infinity is 25. We need to find the first term a and the common ratio r. So if the second term is 4, then 4 is equal to a r to the 2 minus 1, which is 1. So 4 equals a r. That can be my first equation. Then the sum to infinity is 25. So 25 must be equal to a over 1 minus r. That's equation number 2. So if I rearrange equation number 1 to get a in terms of r, then a is equal to 4 over r. And then I can substitute that into equation number 2. So 25 is equal to 4 over r over 1 minus r. So if I multiply both sides by the 1 minus r, we get 25 minus 25r is equal to 4 over r. Then you can multiply both sides by the r to get 25r minus 25r squared is equal to 4. So if I then move everything onto the right-hand side, we get 0 is equal to 25r squared. Take away 25r plus 4. Okay, so here is a quadratic equation to then solve. So I'm going to pop that into my equation solver. You could use the quadratic formula if you wished. Okay, so 25 minus 25, 4. So we get r to be 4 fifths and 1 fifth. Okay, so we've got two values of r. And we need to check that they both work, or if only one does. Okay? So, if r is 4 fifths, I can substitute that into equation number 1 to get 4 is equal to a times 4 fifths. Which means that a, if we do 4 divided by 4 fifths, it should be 5. So r is 4 fifths, a is 5. So if I substitute that into equation 2, so 5 divided by 1 minus 4 fifths, we get 25. And so a is 5, r is 4 fifths works. Now, when r is 1 fifth, substituting that into equation 1, we would get a to be 20. So, popping that into equation 2, 20 divided by 1 minus a fifth is also 25. So, yes, that one works as well. So, in this case, we've actually got two possible answers, which can happen. So, we've either got that a is 5 and r is 4 fifths, or a is 20 and r is 1 fifth because that works for the second term being 4, and in both cases the sum to infinity is 25.